Hey, what's up guys, Amscope here, and today we're gonna teach you how to use a stereo microscope with one of our digital cameras. So this is one of our SM series microscopes, and it is trinocular, so there is a third port made specifically for the camera. If you do have a binocular version, which is just the eyepieces itself, uh, you can still use the camera. All you're gonna do is take out the eyepiece, put the adapter, and then you would just go ahead and put the camera in here. And basically the camera is a separate attachment that will make your microscope into a digital, uh, a digital microscope. A digital microscope basically meaning that you have a camera, you attach it to your computer, and with this camera you're able to transmit images that you see through your microscope onto your computer, laptop, uh, desktop, or whatever you're using. Um, unfortunately none of our cameras uh, with a USB cable can attach to an iPad or a, a tablet. So again, this camera is our MU series camera. It is USB powered. Uh, today we're using a Mac. It works on version uh, Snow Leopard, Lion, Mountain Lion. And on this Mac in particular, we have the newest operating system, which is OS X Mavericks. And that's installed. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when using a camera, you wanna go ahead and make sure that uh, the trinocular port is open. And what I mean by that is that there is a metal pin on the side of the trinocular head that you could pull open here. And when you pull that open, it opens up a shutter that closes up the, uh, the trinocular port, okay? So see if I close it, the screen will turn all dark. There's nothing there. And when I pull it, uh, you'll see some light change here. On binocular models, you won't have this port because, well, obviously you don't have the third port on top. So I'm going to leave that open, and today uh, we're going to look at a quarter. So you want to make sure that if you are looking at the surface area subjects that you have uh, a top light source, okay? If you have a bottom light, well obviously it won't show through the quarter, it won't go through the quarter, so you won't be able to see anything. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this light on that I have attached to the microscope. This light source is model um, LED-144. And as you can see, when I turned the light on, it illuminated the screen uh, because the camera's attached and what this sees, my uh, monitor sees, okay? Off on. So I have this at the brightest setting. And as you can see on my screen, nothing's in focus. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna raise the microscope up a bit by adjusting the stand on the back and firmly, uh, I guess, holding the focusing rack in front. I'm gonna raise it a bit up higher and in once I move it, you might see a part of the screen gets in focus with the, uh, with the quarter. So the upper right hand side, you can see the quarter now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and move this a little bit. Okay, and it's adjusting the light source. And let me zoom up, zoom up on that so you guys can see it. So there's a the quarter, not perfectly in focus yet. Let me go ahead and just adjust the head a little bit more and as you can see I'm just adjusting the knob right here on the side moving it up and down and that looks like it's in pretty good focus and I can see almost maybe three quarters of that quarter and if I want to make it a little bit sharper in the program there is an option where I could adjust uh, brightness, saturation, gamma and I'll change the skip, okay. So there's a quarter on our screen, microscope. Now notice how the working distance on the SM microscope, this is only about four inches, okay? We have different attachments that you could attach to it called, called Barlow lenses, uh, which will increase the working distance or increase the magnification. Um, what I'm holding right now is called a 0.5x Barlow lens. What this does is it um, cuts the magnification in half from the SM microscope and when you attach it, it, um, it enables you to raise the distance a little bit higher, maybe up to eight inches, so that you can see more of the field of, you can see a better field of view of the actual coin. So let's put that into practice, okay? So I'm just going to bring this down a bit and you can see that this is the closest or the farthest I could get. Uh, from seeing this subject uh, with without the Barlow lens, okay, and it's in focus. 
So what I'm going to do right now is remove the light source. Just have to unscrew it a bit. <clears throat> Bear with me while I do this real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and get the Barlow lens, 0.5x Barlow lens. I'm going to attach it to the bottom. And it just screws on simply to the bottom right here. And in order to put the light source back on, I have to get the adapter, the ring adapter, and just screw it onto the bottom of the Barlow. Oh yeah, and uh, Barlow is a B-A-R-L-O-W, Barlow lens, okay? Just in case you didn't know how to spell it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the ring light and reattach it again. Make sure it's nice and secure so it doesn't fall off. So now look at the screen. We're at the same distance as we were before without the lens attached, but now the screen's blurry, it's not in focus anymore. So what I'm gonna do from here is try and see what gets it more in focus. Okay, when I move down, it gets more blurry. So let's go ahead and raise the head up again. So I'm gonna move the tension on the back. Raising up higher. And I've reached the max where I could go up higher and it's still blurry. So I put it to the highest of the stage here. And I didn't want to go up any higher. So what you could actually do is, let me move the camera a bit. Okay. What you could do is if it's still not in focus and you're way up high, um, this is about eight, eight inches tall, okay? But now you can see, we see the full quarter. And right here, it's still not in focus, but I'll, I'll show you how to get that in focus in a second. What you could do on our trinocular microscopes to get that in focus, there is an attachment on top here, um, this, this ring right here, and it has ridges on it, on the trinocular port. And when you move that up and down, it, go, it um, adjusts the focus that you have here on the monitor. So let me show you um, that quarter again to focus while I go ahead and adjust that trinocular port. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. Just screw it around a little bit. And after I did that, the quarter is now perfectly in focus. And this is now a picture of a full quarter, okay? So as you can see with the 0.5x lens attached, the Barlow lens that you attach to the bottom, right here, 0.5x. Uh, with that attached to the SM series microscope, you'll be able to see the full size quarter and not just a, a part of it or not just one fourth of it or maybe two fourths or whatever. You'll be able to see the entire quarter with the camera on your microscope. Now the one issue is that uh, a lot of people always complain about not being able to see the full subject. Um, a lot of customers do get the SE series microscopes and the magnification on that doesn't allow you to see a full coin. It doesn't allow you to see a, a full stamp. It doesn't let you see a, a wide field of view. So the widest field of view uh, microscope that's, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the microscope that will give you the widest field of view would be any one of the SM microscopes with that 0.5x lens attached. Um, without that lens, uh, as earlier, let me just go ahead and remove it real quick. Um, all you're gonna see is probably a quarter of uh, the image you're seeing. Okay. Now there's also a different lens um, that we have, it's a 2x Barlow lens. And what this lens does is it uh, increases magnification so you get a little bit closer to the subject but when you do that, the working distance um, isn't eight inches anymore. It's only, I think less than, I'd say less than four inches working distance. So let me go ahead and just remove this. Attach, attaching the two X lens right now. Light source back on. Gonna readjust the camera on the trinocular port. And now on my screen I don't see anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this down a bit more. Bring this down a bit more. And 
as you can see with the 2x lens my working distance is pretty much slim to none so if you look here on the microscope I'm right on top of the quarter but in doing so I'm able to see a much more zoomed in and much more uh, detail than it was before it's uh, closer to the subject okay so I'm gonna move it up don't see it's a little blurry gonna move it as close as I can and when I do that you can see like the, the ridges on the coins and the other details on it I suppose if you wanted to you know move the coin around you could but you'd have to lift up the microscope a bit more just kind of readjust it and then just slightly bring it down again Okay, so that's how the serial microscope works, all right? So let's do a quick recap. Quick recap. Let me just go ahead and remove this lens. So, without any lenses attached, any of the Barlow lenses attached, your microscope is going to have a working distance of around four inches okay four inches and you won't see an entire quarter you won't have a maximum field of view all right you only see part of it now when you attach the 0.5 lens which was this lens here to the bottom you're going to go ahead and get eight inches of working distance so i'm going to attach that 5x lens and the ring light and I'm going to adjust the trinocular port here and bring it up higher and when you have the 0.5 again you're going to raise it up high okay I believe that's in focus there and I'm going to readjust here and there you go then you're able to see the full quarter all right a wider field of view and then when you have the 2x lens, which is going to increase your magnification, this is going to reduce um, your working distance and it's going to increase your mag. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Attach your 2x lens. And of course, we'll need our ring light. Source you guys want to use. And I'm going to bring this down as close as I can and adjust the camera by adjusting the trinocular port. I could kind of see something. There you go. And when I do that, you see that the working distance is very decreased. It's very slim to none. And but now I'm able to see the subject very close and I can see a lot more detail and scratches and stuff on it. So if you're working with stamps or electronics or anything like that, uh, you might want to get the 2x and the 0.5x together. Uh, most people who are doing soldering work do want to go ahead and get uh, the 0.5x lens so that you know when you're working underneath the microscope, you have a lot more working distance. So. You could use your soldering tools and whatever you know screwdrivers in order to um, fix and fix parts and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, and one more important thing: if you are going to be doing soldering work on the stereo microscopes, the SM models, you want to keep in mind. Let me just remove this real quick. You want to keep in mind that the bottom of the lenses on the microscope head are bare, okay? So if I got, um, here you can see the whole microscope head, I just took it off, okay? If you're doing soldering work, you wanna protect these, these lenses here. If these lenses get um, damaged over time uh, by fumes, or let's say that a year from now you bought this microscope, but now it's cloudy, uh, we can't change out these objective lenses, so you wanna protect them. The one way to protect them is by using the Barlow lenses. So the 0.5x lens you could attach to the bottom 
or the 2x lens you attach to the bottom. Um, and let's say that you didn't want more working distance at all with a 0.5 lens, 5x lens. We also have a 1x lens that just screws onto the bottom here and it kind of acts as a filter to protect the entire microscope. Okay? And yeah, that's pretty much it on the st stereo microscopes. So if you have any other questions, let us know. Um, I included some links in the video description down below. Go ahead and check them out if you want to see like the camera I was using, if you want to see the light source I was using, if you want to see like how much these lenses are. They're around close to $50 for the Barlow lenses. We also, have, we also have some packages of the SMs that include the Barlow lenses in them. So yeah, just go ahead and check that out. Uh, we have a bunch of items on amscope.com and on Amazon and on eBay. And I'll include some links below. Alright, that was Amscope and uh, have a great day guys.